hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is an unreal process has crashed ue chrono odc so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart steam so go to steam then click on exit and restart steam and then check if that does not work restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game next step is to run this file now for this you can go to this location so make our right click on the game exe file select manage click on browse local files and it will take you to the game installation folder now open the engine folder now open extras now open redist open this folder now over here you can see this file make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now if it is already installed like in my case it's already installed so you, you, know, you can click on uninstall and then reinstall but if you see install option hit install so in my case it is already installed so i will just uninstall it then make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you will see the install button put a check over here click on install Now, once this is done, you can close this. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, next step is to rename or delete this slpcl.dll file. You can create a backup first. So you can again go to the game installation folder. Now open this folder. Now open the plugins folder. Now open the NVIDIA folder. Now open streamline folder, binaries third party win64 and here you can see sl.pcl.dll you can copy this file and you can paste it to the desktop just create a backup now once you have a backup created now you can either delete this file or you can rename it so you can delete it or rename it any way you already have a backup so if you have a as you have a backup if you face any problem you can always put the original file back to the uh, location and then you can check now now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work then you can delete the config folder now when you delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so to delete the config folder uh, you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now open the chrono odc folder and open saved folder here you can see this config folder if you want to create a backup you can just uh, create a backup now once you have a backup created now you can er delete this folder all the saved settings will be lost deleted now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you can rename or delete the save game files when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so again create a backup first so create a backup so go to the same location so go to this location and once you go to this location here you can see this game folder chrono odc make a right click and then copy this folder once you copy it you can just create a backup paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click on this folder and then you can rename it and then you will launch the game you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam you can make a right click and then manage click on browse local files and then open this folder binaries win64 and then make a double click on this exe file and then launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working again over here put a check select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can try windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click and then launch the game 
and you can even uh, do the same thing with the first exe file so you can even try this exe file to launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes and still not working in that case uh, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, click on browser apps and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game installed in this location. So open the game folder. This is the location and then select the game exe file and then go on open. Again, click on add and allow app browser apps and then open this folder binaries win64. Select this exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. Go to system and security. Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open and then click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now click on add once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. This is important. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows size box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file uh, open this folder first open this binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game and then for gpu preference you set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working do the same thing with the first exe file and then check next we should try these in launch options so you can just make a right click on the game and then select properties and then in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to make sure date time time zone and region is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click go to adjust date and time and then make sure site uh, sorry set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on set time order automatically if this is off you can turn it on now also 
here you can see sync now option so click on sync now sync now is important so if you receive any kind of errors in red just click on sync multiple times and then again go to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country your country is selected over here and then launch the game next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator so click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now copy all these commands so copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now copy the second command paste it hit the enter key now run the last command now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to turn off turn on or turn off vpn so uh, if you're using vpn then you can turn it off you can close vpn and then check if you're not using if you want to use you can turn on the vpn and then check check which one is working fine for you also switch to different networks so if you have any other network available uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check if that does not work uh, then in that case you can switch to mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot and then uh, you can connect to your phone network over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can use the wired connection and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update just ignore this resume update option you will see check for update click on check for update and once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description uh, open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and over here you will see uh, let me let me get the correct link so copy this correct link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to uh, microsoft website and here you can see visual studio files uh, you have to install this x86 and x64 version so click on this x86 file and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install now download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed now restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so try launching the game on single monitor if you have any external devices which you're not using like sometimes we have extra controller connected so disconnect extra controller if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can go to discord settings and turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running open nvidia app go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application and then launch the game if you have any overclocking application running like msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running first of all uh, set the overclock to default so if you have overclocked your computer you know uh, set overclock to default and then you can close all the overclocking application also if you have any third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive 
and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now still not working the, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to first of all ins install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or any dr uh, like e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if that does not if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to different drive um, to different ssd and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel